Hello YouTube. Uh, there's something I need to show you before we lose the sun uh, for the end of the summer. Obviously I've got my 300 watt panel, two 80s, and over there on the shed, at not quite the right angle, we got our three 300 watt panels. So we've got about 1200, uh, 1360 watts of panels in service. And uh, I want to try something real quick, because uh, I want to get this, uh, my, my place, um, uh, relatively off grid to a certain extent not only to save money uh, on the bills um, it's more of a game to me than anything else I like to play the off grid game um, and uh, obviously I need to do this before winter comes so let's uh, have a look Now in the interest of doing a, a fair test just to prove that it is off grid, um, they're not on, won't come on, and I've plugged in the lead down the garden so you have to follow me for a second. Bear with me. This is run on an extension lead, obviously dishwasher is 2.1 kilowatts, washing machine is 2.4 kilowatts. So, you'd think that we'd be popping fuses, but I have done this once before and it hasn't actually popped the fuse, so uh, we'll, we'll turn this on. I've had to hardwire the fans so they're always on because uh, this reliable pure sine wave inverter is not so reliable when you let it do its own thing. So I've hardwired the fans for now and it seems to get rid of the heat a lot better. I can't fault this device, the 1000 watt inverter, it runs perfectly, it will run 1100 watts uh, for, for as long as it takes to boil a kettle, uh, it's quite happy. But this one, I've had hard wire because it's just pants, so we're going to test this to the max. So that's on, leads up the garden, and we'll see, it's come on. So I'm undecided what wash I'm going to run it on because I've, I've done several tests and the inverter on the um, on the uh, washing machine seems to kick out and it ooh, it kicks out on the spin cycle. It doesn't actually kick out on the heating cycle. So we know um, it, it can deal with the um, it can deal with the resistive load quite happily. It's just the spin cycle. So I've tried it with dummy loads and all sorts of things. So what I'm going to do now is run the dishwasher. There's a one hour setting here somewhere. 234, 220, four hours. Hour 17, that'll do. We're going to run the dishwasher. Lights come on on the dishwasher. We're going to run it on daily. I do. 40 wash and a 1200 spin. There we go. On, on. Let's go and have a look in the shed and take some power readings. So we're starting off at the moment, you see the minus figure is telling us basically we're putting power into the batteries. Now we're at 86.050 watt hours. We'll see how much that goes up to, and I'm going to pop back intermittently during the cycles to see just how much power we're pulling out of this DIY power wall. Yeah, so we're about 10 minutes in, both heating elements appear to be on as the dishwasher pulls at 84 amps without solar. So say we're pulling 20 amps in, 130 amps out, 3.32 kilowatts being drawn. Uh, and I can't remember what the reading was before, so you can make up your mind there. So it's. Uh, sagging down to 25.5 7 volts it's a bit low for my liking it's not a sort of stress i've put this power wall through on a day-to-day -day basis but for today we're going to see what happens we are halfway through the washing machine and dishwasher cycle we're at 87087 uh watt hours that's an increase or a usage of one kilowatt so far we've seen a peak of 130 amps pulled out of this pack and we've also seen 20 amps go into the pack we're up to 20 
27 amps, 28 amps. This peak I'm going to get with my panels in their current position. I'll let this uh, cycle carry on and finish, hopefully. This here is the cr critical part of the cycle on the washing machine. I've had the dishwasher running flawlessly. It will do a 60 degrees wash over half an hour and not trip out the inverter under load from the heating element or the motor spinning or the pump going or anything like this. The washing machine, however, seems to get to about 20 minutes to go. It's no longer heating. It's just uh, uh, rinsing and spinning and uh, it trips out the inverter um, somehow, uh, but it's always on the rundown from a spin. So it's spinning really fast, it's going going like the clappers, and then as it ramps down slowly, uh, it will trip out and then restart the washing machine. The washing machine thinks, oh, I've had a power cut and adds uh, another seven to eight minutes onto the cycle. So I'm just gonna set up the camera on the washing machine, make sure that don't happen. And then we'll go and have a look at the results uh, 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 well, momentarily. There we have it. It appears to trip the inverter out. The light went off on the dishwasher and there's no lights on the washing machine. So I'm going to call this test to fail. I'm going to sort the washing machine over to the uh, mains and uh, let it carry on from there. There we go. Washing machine's now swapped back to the mains. We are at 13 minutes now. It's gone back up. Uh, I'll endeavour to find a way, whether through dummy loads or uh, other settings on the, on the washing machine to see if I can actually get this unit off grid. Failing that, I know the dishwasher is just fine on this unit. I'm going to wait for the dishwasher to finish now. I believe it's not far off. And uh, we'll see how much power it's drawn. So we started off at 86 uh, kilowatts and 51 watts. We finished up at a total of uh, 87 eight five five watt hours um, we've done really well so 1.8 kilowatts drawn out for the washing machine dishwasher cycle uh, the washing machine cycle probably used a few more watts on grid just to spin the last bit of water out but I'm happy with that and now we're putting in 31.6 amps back into the battery so hopefully I'm still gonna have enough uh, excess power today uh, mid-September to actually heat some water for a wash or bath later Let's have a quick look at that before I disappear. There we go, the dump load here kicks in at uh, 28.5 volts here, although this dial is slightly out, so it's 28.2 at the other end. Uh, obviously, relay, uh, voltage sensing relay switches on a timer relay. This is burning out, so I'll put it in a connector block temporary, which turns on the big relay, which turns on the inverter. Uh, done this beginning of January um, to get ready for summer. Obviously had a little one in the meantime, so I've not had any time to upgrade, make this better, change things out, you know, smarten it up, make it look perfect, but it's worked just fine so far.